Hi guys, this week your bell ringers have to do with misplaced modifiers. So it's important that you understand what a modifier is and what a misplaced modifier is. A modifier is a word or a phrase that helps explain something, that describes it. Um, unfortunately, sometimes we misplace our modifiers. Actually, it's very common to do it. And it makes the meaning of the sentence unclear for readers. So uh, today's bell ringer um, has to do with what the sentence says, like what you want it to say, what you want it to mean, and what it actually says. So it's kind of weird because you're actually picking the wrong sentence um, that goes along with the silly picture. So look at this example. Which sentence better matches the image? Hanging upside down in the back of his closet, Robert had almost forgotten about his old tennis racket. I know because I've been an English teacher a long time that this person meant to talk about that the tennis racket was hanging up in the back of the closet, but because of the way it's worded, that's a little unclear. Look at the next sentence. Robert had almost forgotten about his old tennis racket hanging upside down in the back of his closet. In that sentence, it's very clear that the tennis racket is hanging in the back of the closet, but this is where it's a little tricky and this is where you'll be glad that you watched this video. The question is, which sentence better matches the image? So if you look at the image, we've got this kid hanging upside down in the back of his closet. So even though it's the incorrect sentence, like grammatically, because it has the misplaced modifier, to get this one right, we would click hanging upside down in the back of his closet. Robert had almost forgotten about his old tennis racket because it matches the image. Makes sense? So we would hit submit, move on to the next one. Which sentence better matches the image? Walking through town, a fire alarm could be heard blaring for several blocks. Walking through town, we could hear a fire alarm blaring for several blocks. I know as the reader, what this person means to say is that while the reader was walking through town, they could hear a fire alarm blaring for several blocks. But because of the way it's written, it could be a little confusing. So look at the picture, which one of these sentences actually goes with the picture. Hopefully you pick the first one because in the picture we have a fire alarm walking down the street. Um, and in this sentence, walking through town, a fire alarm could be heard blaring for several blocks. It looks like the fire alarm was the one that was walking through town. Okay. So, for today's bell ringer, you will have five images with sentences. This is actually one of them. And you have to pick the sentence that best matches the picture. It's not the best written sentence. It's actually the worst written sentence. Um, but you need to pick the one that matches the picture. Got it? All right. I hope that you guys can handle this. On your next bell ringer, there will also be another little video to watch. I highly recommend that you pay attention to it because it will help you understand this more. Bye, guys.